Hello, my name is Jia, today I will introduce our work, All in Tokens, Unifying Output Space of Visual Tasks via Soft Token. This work was carried out at Microsoft Research Asia in collaboration with Chen Li, Zheng Zhang, Chunyu Wang, Zigong Gong, Ji Dai, Kuan He and Han Hu. Our motivation mainly comes from the rapid development of current NLP and the unification trend of CV. In the past, specific models are designed for different computer vision tasks, but one GPT model can handle almost all nature language tasks. We believe that the key obstacle to a unified visual model is the inconsistency in visual representations. For example, we need box coordinates in object detection, coordinates or heat map representation for key points, binary mask for instant segmentation and depth map for depth estimation. However, all inputs and outputs in NLP can be represented as words. We divide the annotation format of visual tasks into two major categories, sparse discrete format and dense continuous format. Sparse format annotation, for example, coordinates, is already discrete as text token. We mainly focus on how to convert the dense continuous format, for example, binary masks and depth map, into tokens effectively. Our model includes a lightweight VQVAE as tokenizer and detokenizer. Firstly, our tokenizer encodes all vision tasks ground truth outputs to a sequence of tokens. Next a unified task solver will use input images to predict the output tokens, and this procedure is supervised by the tokenizer. Finally we can use detokenizer to convert the predicted tokens into output results. We represent the dense tokens as soft token. In a typical autoregressive prediction procedure, the token as the task solver output is selected deterministically or sampled by its probability, as shown in 1, and its embedding is used as the input to the task solver decoder for the next prediction step. This approach is called hard inference. However we find that treating the dense token as the token combination by its probability can achieve better results, as shown in 2. The soft dense token will be passed to the detokenizer and next token input of task solver. There are three benefits of using the soft token. First, the visual space is inherently continuous and interpolable. And the tokens learned by VQVAE are not completely independent of each other. Second, we think the soft weighted token can have lower distance between the ground truth token and the experiments on depth estimation in table 1 verified this. Third, soft token can enable the gradient backpropagation through the VQVAE detokenizer, which introduces an auxiliary loss between prediction and ground truth directly. Some tasks have corrupted or non-annotated region, for example, depth estimation and key point detection. We present to introduce mask augmentation in the training of VQVAE to alleviate this challenge. Specifically, for depth estimation, we randomly mask some regions in the input depth images and then use their original depth information as supervision. In this way, the VQVAE can complete slash recover some corrupted regions with reasonable results. We propose the parallel vision modeling, which can accelerate the inference by predicting a bunch of visual tokens simultaneously. For example, in the figure, B, we replace the token S0, D1 with parallel token P as the input of dense token D1, D2. We keep the causal mask so that the model can still generate the sparse and dense token autoregressively. What's more, parallel vision modeling can improve the model performance. We mainly study our method on tasks with diverse outputs. For depth estimation task, we achieved the SOTA on NYUV2 benchmark. For discrete output tasks, such as key points and instant segmentation, AIT gets competitive results. When training two different tasks together, AIT can also achieve relatively good results. With detailed ablation study, we see soft token can get significant improvement in all three place on depth estimation and instant segmentation tasks. Mask augmentation is designed to improve the model ability of completing unknown areas. By visualizing the reconstruction images of VQVAE, mask augmentation can clearly reduce the artifacts in these areas. After properly choosing the mask ratio, it can improve model system RMSE performance on depth estimation tasks. To summarize, we introduce AIT, a unified output representation for various vision tasks. It is non-trivial to make it practical and powerful, including the use of soft token, parallel vision modeling and mask augmentation. For more information about this work, including paper and code, please visit our GitHub repo. Thanks for your watching.